Okay, it looks like we are recording. So I will call this meeting to order. This is the Major Crash Review Task Force. We're meeting at 2.40 on Wednesday, September 30th, 2020, remotely via Microsoft Teams. Uh, looking through our sign-in sheet, who's on the call, we do have a quorum. We have four of our six voting member agencies represented. Um, we circulated the August minutes uh, before the meeting for everyone to review. Um, if anyone or if everyone has reviewed them, is there a motion to approve those minutes? I'll approve them. Hey. Oh, I thought they were. I'll, I'll second it. OK. Was that Linda? Yes, I second. OK, and so now we have to do our roll call vote. Uh, MPD Lieutenant Wilkins. He's here. here. He says yes. OK, and uh, MPD Sergeant Thorne. I'm here. Yep. Uh, DDOT Linda Bailey. Here. Uh, OP Kristen Calkins. Here. And then Pedestrian Advisory Council, Eileen McCarthy. Here. OK, that those were votes to approve the August minutes, and so they were unanimously approved. Um, for new business, I just have one item. Um, the Office of Open Government contacted me, Johnny, I'm forgetting his last name at the moment, Bratton, I believe. Hey, uh, Jonathan, did you call on David? Was David here? Yeah. You must always I'm here. Sorry, Hello. David. Uh, would would you like to vote in favor or against approving the August minutes? No, I, I'm in favor. OK, so we also have another person on phone. I don't know if that's Helen, maybe. It ends in four or five. Mm. Are you seeing everybody? Yeah, two zero two three eight four two nine four five. Who is that? I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, I see Terry. There's two zero two seven two nine one one three, and then the three eight four two nine four five number. Yeah, should be Terry. Hello. Hello. One three is Bridget. Hello. Hello, that, that may be my number, it's Johnny Barton. Oh, there's Johnny. I was just talking about you. Um, well, great, so now we know everyone who's attending. Um, and I was just wanted to mention in um, while we're still in the open session that I spoke with Johnny just about um, how, we're, how we were uh, doing our agenda and trying to make it, um, I guess, knowable for for members of the public that uh the meeting is still happening although it's happening remotely now um and since we usually publish um in the in the dc register the schedule of meetings for the year and those um said that the meeting would be happening at ddot like like we normally did before covid um there there's kind of that uh part of the the notice we could do but um, we basically had a conversation about how, um, you know, we, we try to be really clear that the open session of the meeting is very brief usually, um, unless we're talking at length about the annual report or something like that that happens every now and then. But, you know, the majority of the meetings um, are really a very brief um, administrative five minutes or so of the open session. And then we go right into closed session to review the crashes. And so we wouldn't would feel kind of bad misleading people, even if they're um, signing in virtually that, that, you know, this this really isn't a public meeting and they're they're not um, going to kind of participate, be able to participate in the in the conversation the way they might um, assume they can. Um, so in on the open government website where our agendas are publicly posted, I just added that to this month's agenda and I'll do that next month and continue to do it kind of a a bold highlighted um, section that you know the public portion of the meeting is very brief and there's no you know information about crashes reviewed there uh, so we kind of came to that agreement that that should be um, sufficient until there's uh, you know some better way of um, 
notifying folks that, that that's what's happening because we did the first remote meeting we had it was also kind of you know um, a lot of effort to have a separate call in or, or teams um, option for for the public to call into so if they did want to hear that five minutes they could and then to keep it secure and private all of us having to sign out of that and then sign into something separate like webex or, or a different platform you know seemed uh to be pretty burdensome so uh this this is how we're we're gonna do it until there's a, a better option i don't know if you wanted to add anything to that johnny uh, no, that's fine. That's exactly what we discussed. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Um, so, and is there any other um, business anyone wants to bring up before we go into a closed session? Uh, hearing none, is there a motion to enter a closed session? So I will move to enter a closed session. This is Eileen McCarthy. And then I heard Linda, sounds like yeah. you seconded that. Okay, so we can do a roll call vote. Um, MPD, Lieutenant Wilkins. He says yay. Okay, and Sergeant Thorne. Yes. Uh, DDOT, Linda Bailey. Aye. Uh, OP, Kristen Calkins. Aye. Uh, Pedestrian Advisory Council, Eileen McCarthy. Aye. And then Bicycle Advisory Council, David Craner. Aye. So that is unanimous. Um, so now we can move into the closed session. I'm going to try to stop this recording, the public version.